So here we are at a convention. This one is in Macon, Georgia. America. <laughs> this is at the Shrine Center here in Macon, Georgia. I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look about this building and tell you a little bit about the Shrine. Why? Because you just entered the coolest life. Now this particular facility, is, it's on about, I don't know, I want to say 18 acres. They're about to build or uh, buy another 33 acres on the other side. They've got a pecan orchard here on this side here. Sometimes they harvest those, sometimes they don't. But they've got a really nice statue. This is pretty much iconic as far as what you would see at most larger shrine centers. This one, this particular statue is a little larger than life. I would say he's about eight or nine feet tall, top of the head. This particular... Um, uh, iconic figure is known as the Shriner. Uh, our slogan is basically a man never stood so tall that when he were, were to bend down and help a child. This particular child was was crippled at a um, at a fair actually in Evansville, Indiana many years ago and they took a picture of the back side of him and said that's what a Shriner is. So that's why that this uh, uh, they took this uh, monument here and made uh, have basically used this as the Shrine logo. So worldwide uh, you'll see this shrine logo here of, of uh, uh, the Shriner with this fez on top of his hat uh, Carrying a child who is who's crippled or uh, you know disabled as you can see the uh, uh, See the crutches he has in his hand there, but uh, this shrine center here right now. We have got a convention going on. This is a uh, um, What we call Grand Lodge Grand Lodge isn't necessarily a building as it is a function so Grand Lodge is um, anytime it's once a year meeting per state typically and in this state here in Georgia we have it in October I think it's anyway it's late October and uh, it's during the week it normally runs for three or four days uh, normally there's dinners and everything but with COVID going on here they've actually reduced this down to about four hours what they'll be doing is installing officers um, this will be a tiled meeting which means There'll be no video inside of a tiled meeting, but I will be able, they'll take some video and some snapshots to what you have inside this building. They rent this building out for different functions. Uh, they've also got an activities building at the other end. It's a great place for, they'll have a wedding here with a reception down there. There's also back there is an RV park. And I don't know if you can tell by the uh, the noise out front from the highway, There's a. it's actually just off the, one of the interstates here in Macon, Georgia, but uh, it's on Mecca Drive. If you look up Mecca, you'll see that's kind of symbolic also. When they built this facility, this road out here in front was not was not built at all. So the Shriners could decide what they wanted to call it, and they called it Mecca. Uh, but now the road goes on back that way, and they've got a uh, they've got a full service RV park down there. I'll be staying there one day, uh, maybe in the next six months or so. I'll be have our RV down there. We'll be spending the night. But you can see there's lots of gentlemen up here. They're all getting registered. Doors don't open until 11.45, but we're gonna go in there and take some more video. Now right here in this building that I just found is actually a lodge room. I don't exactly know what lodge it is, but uh, let's see, make a lodge number five. It looks like what this one here says, but they've got some uh, some past masters of making lodge number five. I'm, I'm guessing they mean you maybe they, Maybe this is their full-time spot. Maybe it's a temporary spot. I don't know, but this building is set up like a V in a sense, or right? maybe it's kind of like an H, um, whereas there's two long hallways down the main entryway, and they've got uh, separate meeting rooms. There's an extra meeting room down there. Um, as you can see, there's actually that room, that room there that you see the door open. This one here is like a, a ladies' parlor is what they call it. But there's a there's a large room here. Uh, some of their subunits, um, uh, I'm trying to think of their director staff, um, uh, the hijinks clown unit, uh, wayfarers. They might take one of these rooms here and have their meetings in it before the regular shrine meeting. Uh, anyone that meets here in this building, besides this lodge here, uh, make a number make a number five would uh, pay rent essentially. I think it's like. $75 a year. Anyway, the point is uh, they'll actually meet here and have their meetings here. They might have them right before the regular shrine meeting. Shrine meetings here will meet uh, twice a month. Um, it, and of course they meet at night, which a lot of their times that they want to rent the building out is on Saturday. Typically, most Shriner functions aren't going to happen on Saturday. And if they do happen on Saturday, normally it's a parade or something out of town. It's not actually happening in this building. So that frees up this building so that they can, um, so they can uh, rent it out to 
to, to families and, and, and the public. Anyway, let's go see what they got on the other side. So this is the main foyer room here. You can see it's all really nice. As you go down here, if you came through the main doors and take a right, you've got some displays that are pretty neat. Lots of history. Nothing in here for sale, just some, some kind of commemorative items. From Indiana, hey, get in next month. City of Houston sent an honor. Different things like the pots, this is pretty, pretty popular here. Do something like this with pots. Because it's a pot, it's a pot, it's a pot, it's a pot. It's pretty neat. They've also got some on this other side here. Typically a lot of uh, Shriners throughout the country are known for their Shrine Circus. And here's some tickets to some of the older. This, these, this is all 2007. They'll do a Shrine Circus. Um, a lot of the, the circuses are put on by what they call temple or Shrine Centers, which is what this is. Others are put on by uh, the local clubs. And when we had our Shrine Circus in Columbus, it was done by the clubs. Now this is, uh, as I mentioned, some of the other groups that meet. This is the Wayfarers. So they'll have their, their meeting rooms down here on this side of the building. So maybe we'll, um, the Legion of Honor is there. Legion of Honor, what they do is they all, they'll post the colors to organizational meetings that we'll have, um, and different things like that. So let me go inside and see if we can take some video from inside. So this meeting room here is fairly large. You can see they've got, uh, they could divide off this room. So this is one room here in the red carpet. Another one just like it on the other side where the lights are. And then in the middle is the main is the main ballroom. It's a really nice setup. They got a portable stage at this other end that people can use. Of course they've always got more tables. Now you can tell we're all spaced out for COVID-19 practices. Um, typically this meeting will have three to five thousand people at it. This meeting today, they limited it to uh, only the Grand Lodge staff and also the uh, 150 members from across the state. To come here, you have to be, um, have to have, to have registered and got selected uh, last month. I just have to be one of the ones that got selected from my district. We've got about eight people here registered from my district and uh, there's about 150 extra people besides the, the regular staff. Uh, the regular Grand Lodge staff that's going to be here. Now, back here in the back, through this door here, is lunchroom. Let me take you there. So this area is right there, back here behind the stage. They've got storage for chairs, and also the uh, the lunchroom, or AKA the cafeteria, is down this way. So they got a small cafeteria. Now, we're under COVID-19, so most Masonic Lodges and functions even outside the Masons, you can't cook so basically they have shut everything down as far as us being able to store anything. But once we get back running, you can see we got a full kitchen that we're going to be able to cook at. Restrooms back there. And also we got our dining room right here. If need be, they can do it up there. That's why this is such a great place to rent out for a uh, wedding or a wedding reception is the fact that they got a full kitchen. They've got restroom facilities. They've got great parking. It's easy to find. It's just off the interstate. It's secluded so you don't have a lot of people walking by and drive by because we're on a dead end road. And uh, this is the main dining room here. That takes you out the back door to the rest of the property. But I wanted to show you this uh, nice painting they have. When they initiate you in Shrine, they always say, walking the sands, doing the sands. Well, this is why they got a picture of the sands. Uh, shrine in general has a has Arabic background, but I wanted you to see some of the nice paintings they have here on the wall. I did want to show you one other thing. These are some Shrine Centers. There's 22 Shriners hospitals throughout the world. And I say world because they're not all located here in the U.S. Here's pictures of each one of them. You have Greenville, South Carolina. That's the main one here that we support from this uh, temple is uh, or Shrine Center. And you can see they've even got the uh, in front of this one here in Tampa. They've got the, uh, uh, the logo there. Twin Cities, New Mexico, Philadelphia, Springfield, Mass. Let me see, there's been another one here. There's the international headquarters in Tampa. Uh, Montreal, Canada, Mexico City. Lexington, Shreveport, Los Angeles. I've been to one way out in this one here. 
I've been to this one here in Honolulu. I've also been to the one in Cincinnati, Ohio. And also been to the one in, um, uh, I think I've been, was there one in Chattanooga? No, it's not Chattanooga, it's uh, Cincinnati, Indianapolis. Anyway, so those are the those are the ones I've been to before, but definitely if you ever get a chance to go through Shriners Hospital, they always welcome guests, whether you've got a patient there or not. The neat thing about Shriners Hospital is it doesn't cost the kids anything to be treated there. Will they take insurance? Yes, but if you don't have insurance, you still get treated just like anybody else, and you don't get charged for that. It's one thing that makes Shriners Hospitals and St. Jude's a little different than the regular hospitals. So definitely want to support Shriners Hospital anytime you can. Ah, pretty nice. So we're now out back of the uh, Shrine Center. The main building is that way, but this is the activities building. Very long, looks like a barn from this end. But there's a nice porch like this one right here that goes all the way around, all the way down this side, and there's another porch on the other side. Behind it, it's got a nice little uh, pond here, and then some people call it a lake. I call those a pond, that's, that's a little bitty. But it is stocked with fish. We have a fishing rodeo out here every year. Uh, you can see there's uh, RVs parked out there. Those are all full hookups. They've also got a whole lot more over this way. And I think it's only, uh, I think it's like $20 a day or something like that. It's pretty cheap. So if you're out RVing, this might be a place to stop. You don't have to be a Shriner. But if you are a Shriner and or a Mason, you could possibly get this for a half price when you want to stay here. Again, with full hookups. So it's a pretty nice area. They own all that back there. There's a, a road here. See the grass going that way? They've got, they bought 200 acres whole lot of property but uh, anyway this is the activities building really nice building inside it's a good size building as you can tell uh, nice nice high ceiling so it's a really good place for events also at the end down here I don't think you saw it the end down here they've got they've got this pavilion here that's good for bands they have a bluegrass festival here every year so it's all down here at the Shrine Center in Macon Georgia but that's it this is the Shrine Center hope you enjoyed this hey you, be sure to like and subscribe for this uh, my YouTube channel, um, if you would. And um, we'll try and do some more Masonic things and some more travel. And uh, we're about ready to get started with this meeting, so they're gonna, gonna get us in there. Because we're just out here trying to live the coolest life. <laughs>